Hi everyone, it's Ian from Q-Tips. A couple of weeks ago, I had a query in the comments with regards to how to split an area or a polygon into two equal areas. So I'm going to show you how to do that using a layer that I have. Um, and we'll use the aerial imagery to as a as a sort of background base layer to split with. But but what we essentially want to do is we want to be able to, to start an editing session and then split one of these polygons or any number of these polygons into equal areas or as close as possible to, to equal areas. Now there might very well be an application or plugin to do this. I don't actually I mean maybe there is, I don't know. But uh, I have a manual way to do it, and it's actually quite efficient um, because we will, we will use the labeling tools from the layer to label on the area. And so the, the, the minute you make an edit, the, the new area for both of the new sections will be, will be shown up. Uh, okay, so we are going to do that. Um, for your project settings, if you open up your project settings, just want to make sure that the measurements are done in square meters okay so this could be set to decimal degrees i don't know why it would be but it's going to be we're going to use square meters and then we are going to be using the default ellipsoid or if it isn't a default for you just change it to wgs 84 epsg 7030 which is the ellipsoid and uh, the mathematical equation basically that it predicts the shape of the earth and then that will be used to calculate our areas so that is all good so we can say okay Right, so what I want to do is I'm going to use the, the active layer, which is this little uh, polygon layer. And I'm going to open up the styling for it. Let's open up the styling for it. So what we'll do is we're going to, to digitize and capture a, a new boundary that splits a feature. So, so let's, we want to be able to see the aerial photograph underneath our polygon. So let's just change the styling. So we'll select simple fill and change the fill style to no brush. Uh, maybe make it a little thicker and then also change the color to something we can see something like that can we see that i think we can see that yellow is always yellow and cyan are actually very good colors it's magenta as well when you, you're working with aerial photographs because you can generally see them quite well but black is really no good browns also no good reds can can be okay but generally no good as well okay so let's go back okay so what i want to do is I want to split one of these features into two equal areas. So I want to be able to see the area as it changes. What we'll do is we'll use the labeling tool still for that same layer. So the Creole Bosch layer here. And we're going to use a single label option. And it's currently labeling on the, uh, the default, which is the 21 digit key, which is a, a code that the, the local municipality uses identify it's a unique identifier for each of these properties so we don't want that one so if you click on the little um expression dialog box next to your labeling option here it'll open up with this and we can actually delete that and just type in dollar sign area and then you'll see it immediately returns the area so let's say okay so now we've got the area for each of these um, features that works, but um, I'm, I don't have a use for all of the decimal places. So let's remove those decimal places. And you can do that by formatting the number. So let's go back to the expression. And under string, if you scroll, actually there it is there. If you select format number, you can see that if you type in format number and then the number and then a comma, you can then start formatting the number according to your heart's desire, really. So let's go and add it in. So what I'm going to do is just select, go in front of the, the, the number, which is the dollar sign area, format the number. And then after it, I'm going to go for, let's go for two decimal places and then we'll close it with parentheses. And you'll see down here in the preview, it's got two decimal places. Okay, that works, but I don't, I don't actually need any decimal places. So I'm going to make that a zero and then say, okay, so you see it's format number open parentheses, the actual number, which in, in this case is dollar sign area. And then all this could be another field. So if you had a field with a number, you could also format a field with a number. But in this case, we're just going for area and then naught and then close parentheses and okay. And now we'll see, we've got a much better looking map that we can work with. All right, so what we're, let's choose one of these big properties. This looks like a nice big property we can split down here. 
and uh, let's actually let's work with the, the historical aerial imagery. You can imagine we're back in 1971, and it hasn't been subdivided yet. So this is before uh, this was developed. This area was developed. So let's zoom in and see if we can split this layer without being influenced at all by the current imagery. All right, so what we want to do is we are going to use an advanced digitizing tool and then just the traditional editing uh, toolbar. So just right click, right click somewhere up here on your on your menu in a blank space. Go down to toolbars and select advanced digitizing. There we go. That gives you this toolbar with a whole lot of tools that are currently grayed out. The minute we start an editing session, so select your layer to edit, which is in my case is Careful Bosch. Click on toggle editing these tools all now become available to you. And the one we want to use is we want to split this. The other thing I like to use um, when digitizing and uh, editing features is the snapping tools. So we can snap to a vertex and we don't have to zoom in too far if we want to. Uh, for instance, if we're going to split, it, make, it would make sense for us to split on... Uh, <laughs> sorry, my, my phone's going off. Let me just silence everything quickly. Sorry about that, I'm getting WhatsApp messages. Um, okay, so so when we survey, when South Africans survey, surveying, they, they basically use a, a peg in the ground and um, they charge per peg. So if we wanted to split this, for instance, we would need to split along here and we'd get two new pegs to designate the corner of the property. But we don't want to do that because they will charge us for two pegs. So instead, what we'll do is we'll snap to this peg and then you know, cut up here somewhere so they only have to add one new peg. So let's see if we can do that. So we'll use the, the snapping tools. If you don't see the snapping toolbar, you can right click up here and then just scroll down and have a look under toolbars and turn on your snapping toolbar. Okay, with that turned on, you need to click on the little magnet to make sure that your snapping is active. And then we need to go and set the settings, the snap settings for that particular layer. So we're going to open up uh, the snapping options and then mine's already set but then you would need to select your layer and then make sure that you choose the type okay, so this is currently set on vertex so it might be none so we can turn that off if it says no snapping you just need to click on it i need to double click on it and then select the, the vertex okay so that's what we are doing right so that's set now we can snap to the vertex. All right, so now we can start editing. And what we'll do is we're going to use this tool, which is a split features tool. So our property is currently 1,375 meters squared. When we intersect or, or split a feature, we need to click once. You left click on your mouse outside of the feature that you want to uh, split. We're going to snap to this peg or this vertex. See the little magenta box that pops up that means that i'm toggled or snapped to the closest vertex so that one is fine so we're going to snap to that one intersect your feature and snap once outside of your feature so i don't know if you if it went there i'm trying to eye it in what's the how close am i to being um splitting this thing into two equal parts so let's click once outside of the feature now so now you'll see that red line you can just see it sort of intersects going to left click and now you should be able to see that red line i think i can turn it off i can't see it the aerial imagery it's split now now if i right click it immediately shows two new new two new parts okay so not quite i need to be up here somewhere so let's try that again i'm going to use my back arrow snap somewhere up there maybe that was close That was also close, so it's a little too far. About that. Oh, now that one's too big. So a little bit of trial and error, to be honest. But you can get there eventually. Okay, so that took me five goes, um, but I got quite close. This is out by one meter squared, but I think that's probably sufficient. What does it look like? 
basically chop that building in half. So so maybe if back in the day they wanted two equal parts here, um, I don't actually think there are any properties that are this small. But if you did want to subdivide and you didn't have anything built, that's one way you could do it. Okay, so that's one way you can do it. Um, and I hope it, it works for you. I think it's pretty useful. Let's have a look uh, at doing something similar. But now imagine you don't specifically want equal areas. You just want to know what the areas would be of a subdivision. It's, I mean, it's quite a useful tool for that too. So he has a property here with a big garden. Let's imagine they wanted to, to split this in two and build another house here. If they were allowed to do that by the council. Let's digitize a new boundary. So we'll start outside. Go along the existing little fence line then right click to finish and now we can see that one property is 462 meters squared the other 524 so maybe that is a suitable size for uh, yeah, a new property okay so it doesn't necessarily have to be equal areas you can just get the area another example of something that might happen is if this if we, let's go back in time again so let's say we wanted a panhandle. It may be sick down here. There. I've got two properties, one with a panhandle. Okay, so I mean that's just eyeing it in. You would obviously need maybe some some more drafting tools or CAD tools to get that properly, but it kind of gives you an idea. Okay, so that's how you can use um the editing tools as well as the layer styling uh labeling function to to get equal errors and then to add in yeah by hand a quick solution um but it, it kind of gives you an idea of 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 how to split an area into two equal errors that's it um i hope it comes in useful uh let me know how it goes okay cheers